so what is going on youtube my name is mehul and welcome to your eighth tutorial i guess for chrome extension development and in this tutorial let's just continue with our extension so right now we are just console logging the stuff and instead of this what we can do is we can just resolve this promise by saying name description and link so it would just create an object with something like name with a value of whatever is passed in inside this name variable similarly for description and link this is just the es6 way of doing that so we are resolving this and now we want to create the check if exists function so we're going to create a check if exists info right and i'm just going to return the info itself we're not going to create the definition for this right now let's just create the chrome notification first so for the chrome notification first of all we need to have this permission of notifications from the manifest and then we can say chrome dot notification dot create and then we want to pass in first of all the id of the notification if you want to pass in any then the options and then the callback so for the callback we do not need anything right now for the id what we can do is we can place in the link which is the info dot link right here because we can make use of this id to redirect the user when the user clicks on that notification then for the options part we have to create some sort of options so we can say let options is this notification would be of type basic and the title would be of the notification would be info dot name for the message it would be info dot description and the icon url I'm gonna just keep it to icon.png as well. So this is our object for very basic notifications and we do not want to show any callback, uh, write any callback, so that should not be a problem for us. So again, we have got our thing ready. And by the way, this is um, synchronous, so we do not actually need to have them right here, but still, anyways. So now we have got our notification shown to user we want to save that but first of all let's just take a look in the browser so if we reload this you could see that we get this notification right here which looks kind of cool so if you kind of dig a little what you could have done is that you could actually just um, take out this image as well and set the icon url to that particular image so that would kind of look even better so try it out yourself if you can and if you want any help, then I'm always there. You can just leave a comment below and I would be happy to help. So, um, yeah, that's all for this tutorial. And in the next one, we're going to finally implement our check if exists. And we're going to save that as well once uh, we have shown the notification. So, again, that's all for this one. And if you liked it, then please don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to support content like that, then please check out the Patreon link in the description. That would really help. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.